First off, I want to say thank you to Verbally Worn for my beautiful t-shirt. So my t-shirt is um, from Verbally Worn. So go check out Verbally Worn. Uh, great friend, great t-shirt. She does awesome work. So there, <laughs> that's better. Okay, so we're going to get started. So I sent out a little list. I don't know if my camera over on this side is not getting my whole picture. There we go. That's better. Now I can see me. So um, what we did um, is I have a pound of ground turkey inside of the bowl. I, the menu, the ingredient list actually said we got ground turkey or if you choose to do ground beef, ground pork, and ground veal, you're just going to use a pound of each. And I have my panko breadcrumbs. Just so you'll know, this is the box of panko breadcrumbs that I'm using. So how much I'm going to use, I don't know. I'm just going to put some in because we just got a pound. I didn't have, um, <laughs> I didn't have shredded uh, Parmesan, but I know I asked you guys to get it, and I didn't have shredded Parmesan, um, grated Parmesan, so I had shredded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate my own. I'm going to put, I put some in my little chopper. Hold your ears. It's going to be a little noise for a second. <laughs> Round it up myself. Grate it. You don't need to, don't go buy anything extra. Know that you can do it yourself. Just a little while and look. Now we have grated parmesan. We have some grated parmesan all by ourselves. So we're gonna put a little in here. I don't know how much until it looks about right. That's how much I'm gonna put in there. I have my egg. I'm just going to put one egg inside. Now, I do know it's just one egg. And we're going to put some panko breadcrumbs in. How much? I don't know. But not too much. Only because um, ground turkey is already dry. So we want to make sure that we're not overdoing it when it comes to drying it out. We don't want to dry it out any more than the meat already is dry. So we got our grated or our grated parmesan our breadcrumbs already I've already chopped up some parsley on a cutting board and just start I just put a little bit in there how much I don't know just until it looks right and I have some chopped onions that I've already chopped up I like onions in my stuff so mm, I'm gonna put all of them in there how much I don't know it was just enough I um, when I cut my onion I Slice it into two and just start it chopping until I had a, had a feeling that it was looking right. We can always add a little bit more if we need to. So there we go. Um, we're going to add our garlic glass. I showed you guys how to mince up and make this garlic paste. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding the um, minced garlic paste that I did. I'm not going to add all of this in here only because... I want to have some for our sauce when it's time to make the sauce. And so, I'm going to use about half. So now this is the part where you're going to also add some salt. Not too much because the Parmesan had some salt. And we had already added some salt to our um, garlic. <laughs> Y'all see I got a new box. I've actually already used up the other box. So now this one doesn't leak on the side like the last one did. I'm going to add some pepper. Um, I told you already, we are pepper lovers in our house, so you add as much pepper as you like to add. Um, this is not authentic Italian um, meatballs. These are Stone Mountain meatballs, like we had Stone Mountain gumbo last week. So we're going to do um, some oregano to the store, and I bought oregano. I don't know why they put these little lids on here. If somebody knows, somebody tell me, because I always seem to take them off in... I don't ever, because it never gives you enough when you try to pour it that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little oregano. But, silly enough, I always end up putting the lid right back on it. That's just, I don't know why I do that. Um, and garlic powder. I like to use garlic powder, never garlic salt, because, of course, you don't want to add too much salt into the mixture. But I like the garlic flavor, so I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. Be careful when you buy garlic powder because there, um, there is a really cheap, cheap version of garlic powder, which is really a serious powder, and I find it hard to really mix. So I 
really use granulated garlic, but it still says garlic powder, so it's, it mixes a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get this to stirring. Y'all see what's in my bowl. Again, we've already got our ground turkey. We've got our onions, garlic, parsley, our egg, our grated Parmesan, and our, um, and our breadcrumbs. Oh, <laughs> and then I forgot to add the milk. How much milk? Again, I don't know. We're just going to take a little splash, pour some in. Okay, we're going to pour all of this in. And then we're going to get some more milk um, so that uh, just in case we don't want it to be dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing it up. Now, if my mama saw me, she probably popped me in the back of my head because I'm actually mixing this with a fork. But I just didn't want to have to take the time to... Um, wash my hands so I'm just gonna use a little fork it looks pretty good for right now I'm gonna show you it's actually pretty with all the colors with the green against the pink um, we may have to add a few more breadcrumbs because it looks a little wet to me I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like right now um, but I, so I think I'm just gonna add some more um, breadcrumbs to it just a few more okay so we end up adding them all Let's just see. What are we saying? Okay. Yep, that's right, Karen. Stone Mountain Meatballs. You missed our Stone Mountain Gumbo last week. So now that we have this going, I'm going to turn my eye on. I always like to taste my meatball mixture just to make sure that I have it right. I don't want to. I don't want to have too much um, salt or something in it or if I need to add more than I can. So I'm just gonna turn my eye on back here. Got my eye on. And I'm gonna use the same pot that I'm gonna use to um, make my sauce in. Back here in the back, I don't know if you guys can see it, this is my water for my spaghetti. Now listen, you use whatever pasta you like. I am a fan of angel hair pasta. So that's what I'm going to use. So I've already gotten my pasta water started. So it's just some water. I added some salt to it. And so I'm now I'm going to, and it's at a full boil. Y'all see, that's, that's what happens when you're in the kitchen. Things just happen. I'm just going to add a handful of pasta to our pot and stir it just a little bit to get those noodles moving. I don't add oil to, to my pasta water. I know some people do. It's not something I do. If you add oil to your pasta water, add the oil to your pasta water. That's just not something I do. So, do what you feel like you want to do. So, this pot is rather warm. I'm going to take a little olive oil. and I, Yes, I always pour my olive oil into a little squeeze bottle because those bottles are huge. And this makes it a little bit easier for me to get to use. So, I'm going to... Pour just a little bit of olive oil into it. And I'm going to take a little bit of our mixture. Just a little, a little bit. Make it into a little something. And we're going to cook that little piece of meatball up. This way we can taste and see what it tastes like. And if we need to add or um, add something, more garlic, more parsley, whatever, then we can. I kind of like the way it looks right now so I'm probably not going to add anything maybe a little bit more salt I don't I don't know I don't know we're going to wait and see what it um what it tastes like when we when we get to going okay it's not going to take long we're actually going to bake our meatballs and not actually fry them in the in our in our pot although you can I'm just not doing it today if you do um then make sure you make your sauce in that same pot because the flavors and the brown and that um, all the flavor from this meatball is going to get into that pot and it'll just go into your sauce and flavor your sauce just a little bit more. So that's that's what um, that's what I'm doing back here. So I'm gonna it doesn't take long for it to go. I'm gonna flip this piece of um, meatball over in this pot. If you, if you need to take the I um, take I rather you take Facebook. Okay, my son is going to move Facebook around, y'all, sorry. So he can see, y'all can see. Y'all see my smoke already in the kitchen? So all I did was, you got to, mm -mm. that's my son, y'all. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. 
He's a little sparkly today. But we're gonna we're um gonna fry this up really fast. I'm gonna turn my eye down because I don't want my my I'm just trying to make it so that we are not spending a whole lot of time waiting on this quick little piece of meat. Cook y'all remember my spoon? I know I got my back towards y'all remember my spoon. This is my Mercedes spoon. Thank you, Mercedes. So now that we've gotten our little um, meatball cooked up, little piece of meat cooked, and I promise you that it's cooked, I'll open it up so you guys can see that it is fully cooked on the inside. It is cooked on the inside. So now we're just going to taste it. Mmm. Okay. I like the flavor. I don't want to add anything else. My pot is hot. It's got a cool box on like I said, we're going to bake our meatballs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our meatball mixture. And I actually have hmm, ice cream scoop. Now, listen, ain't nobody scooping ice cream with this little old thing. So it is purely for the enjoyment of measuring, making sure everything is equal. So we're going to take this, scoop it, and use and put it on our, on our baking sheet. My baking sheet is lined with some foil because I don't like to wash a whole lot of dishes. I'm going to spray it. I'm going to put a little olive oil on here, move it around just so that it's nice and coated. I've already got my oven heated to 350. I was going to wipe my hands, y'all, and I changed my mind because these meatballs going to need somewhere to go to keep them sticking on my hands. Just a little bit, a whole little scoop, and then you just plop the meatball right there right there on this um, baking sheet. That's all we're doing. I want to thank everybody who joined last week because I know that video was long, so hence the reason why I'm trying to do a little bit faster. Hey, Snacks! What's going on, partner? Thank you for joining. Thank you, Trizzle. We appreciate you joining. Um, we're just going to get these meatballs going. Now, listen, you guys um, were really sweet last week. You hung in there and you talked to me for like two hours. Who does that? So I want to say thank you so much for hanging in there and not giving up on me last week. And thank you to all those who actually took time to make the gumbo. Um, the pictures that I saw looked really good and it looks like you guys had it going on. So. We're going to just pound, push out these meatballs. And I'm not going to have you guys on here for two hours this week. I'm going to, um, I've already made some this morning, some of these meatballs this morning. So it's going to, you guys are actually getting the condensed version. So I already made sure that I had everything seasoned. And while these are in the oven, we're going to um, make homemade sauce and I know people are intimidated sometimes by homemade sauce but don't be intimidated by the homemade sauce it is really super simple when my mom was living she actually had um, a blood disorder that caused her blood to thicken and so um, which eventually led to her having a heart attack so I am a definite proponent for heart health and low sodium as much as possible because that was one of the things that the doctor said to her she needed to cut back on the sodium. Although she did not have high blood pressure, she still they were still like, oh, you need to cut back on the sodium and jarred and canned food. So we learned a lot of tricks on how to do stuff from scratch and take some of the sodium out of her diet. And one of the things was to make homemade um, homemade spaghetti sauce. Now, I know, I told you guys to get San Marzano tomatoes. And of course, the only way you can get San Marzano tomatoes is if you buy them in a can. This is true. This was one of my cheats for my mom, but it also became a cheat for me when she was living, I actually took tomatoes and roasted them in the oven along with a clove of garlic. And I also did um, 
bell pepper. So my mom's spaghetti sauce was a roasted garlic and bell pepper um, tomato sauce. So you know, maybe one day I'll go back and revisit and do that um, for you guys too to show you how to actually make it from fresh tomatoes too. But this is something that you can do quick, fast, and in a hurry when you are coming home from work and really don't want to spend the time making scratch scratch but you can take some help from some of the tomatoes. Let me get my hands washed. Okay, so here are here are meatballs and I'm just going to slide them in the oven 350 degrees. I heard you. I heard you. How long? I don't know. I don't know how long. We're just going to put them in there until they're done. I don't know how long. It's until they're done. I don't know. We're going to check them in about 20 minutes, maybe 30. I don't know. They'll be done. Um, thank you guys again for joining. I think we have some people chiming in. My son is pointing down like I can read something. I can't read nothing, honey. That's you have that on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excuse my son. We don't we don't know what's being said. I don't know. He knows, but I don't know. But at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this um, homemade spaghetti sauce. Now, again, y'all saw me when I did. Uh oh. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I made the spaghetti. So let me um, pour the water off of this and off of our noodles. So our noodles aren't sticking. There we go. And I'm gonna pour some in this little cup right here. Okay, I'm gonna pour them all in this cup. Okay, I'm not gonna eat the whole cup, but I sure want some. And that's the taste of my son. He gonna get the small one. Small one, get the big one, but that's okay. So now our pasta is out, and it's okay if you grate it too much. Parmesan, we're just gonna add it to the to the top of our stuff anyway. We're gonna add some more. Y'all see how messy I was? Hold on. Y'all see this? The doggone noodles got out. You have to get on that side, son. So I'm I've added all the oil to my pan. And I'm going to add this uh, minced garlic. Again, I, what I did to mince it is simply um, chopped them up. Added some um, salt and then I used the back of my knife. Mm. I used the back of my knife just like this in a sweeping motion to get, get it minced up. I'm going to go ahead and get that stirred in there. It smells phenomenal in here. And this is a super simple sauce. You can actually add whatever you like once you get the base of it. I just like simple spaghetti sauce. So then you're going to take these. This is the San Marzano um, tomatoes. Sagento makes it. Sagento? Cento? C E N T O? Sagento? I can't pronounce it. San Marzano tomatoes are the best tomatoes. Make sure that they're whole and peeled. And all we're going to do is pour um, a little bit of our sauce in first. And the sauce keeps the, when you add some of the sauce in, just trying to keep the garlic from burning or browning too fast. Now, this is where we get to take out a little aggression. You're just going to come in, take your tomatoes, and just squeeze them. <laughs> just like that. And all the juice comes out. And you're just going to break them up with your hands. Nothing big. Just break them up with your hands. Now, can you get the San Marzano um, tomatoes that are already cut up and diced? Yes, but something about doing it this way um, is better. So, here we go. We're just breaking these up with our hands. Now, keep in mind, all we've added in here is tomatoes. These tomatoes, we've added garlic and we've added um, our olive oil. Olive oil, tomatoes, and garlic is all we've got in here. 
and we're just going to go ahead and squeeze them. I have, um, I'm going to do two cans because I'm trying to feed my family. Now, you're going to see little flecks of green in here, and that's fine. All it is is the um, basil that these are cooked with. If you guys could smell what is going on in this kitchen, it smells great. Um, and I'm sorry, Instagram, that I got my back towards you. I'm going to work it out to where we eventually can move this and get it to the front. Seems a little messy. Don't worry about it. It's okay. If you are not having fun playing with your food, then something is desperately wrong. Something um, good about playing with your food. Anthony Kilgore asks, why didn't you rinse the noodles? Why did I choose what? Why didn't you rinse the noodles? Um, I don't rinse my... Listen. The same thing with my rice. If I'm going to do a carb, I'm going to do all my carbs, which includes all of my starch. But my um, tomatoes have um, have uh, basil in it. It's just my mama didn't rinse her noodles. I ain't rinsing my noodles either. No particular reason. If you want to rinse your noodles to get the starch off, that's fine. But I also find that when you leave the starch on it, it helps thicken your sauce on, and helps your... Um, sauce grab hold to your noodles. That's just me. You ain't got to do it like me. I'm just trying to show you that it's not so bad cooking from scratch or semi-scratch, however you want to call it. Anthony, listen, I don't really know. I don't know. This is just how I do it in Stone Mountain, how my mama did it in Decatur and how I'm doing it in Stone Mountain. And just keep this stirred. It's going to start looking really good in a second um but i just want to go ahead and just break these right on up these are again the san marzano tomatoes they also have a little garlic um a little basil leaf in it that's the reason why i didn't tell anybody to buy basil now if you want get you some basil chop it up add the basil in there um oh look at my son is too fisting it he's got he loves me. So we're just going to keep it going. Our um, meatballs are in the oven. And we're almost done with this can of tomatoes. Now, I'm going to take this to the side and I'm going to rinse my hands. One second. This is the easy part of making this. Now, I'm going to add a little oregano to it because I want to, and I like oregano. If you got Italian seasoning, you could do Italian seasoning in here. Italian seasoning has, you know, a little um, oregano. It has basil in it, some other herbs and spices. We're going to add a touch of salt, but not yet. Did I tell y'all that I don't know why they keep putting these little things on here? But we're going to keep it. Now, I'm also going to add just a touch of garlic powder. Because I love it. And it's okay. I'm going to put a little pepper in. I'm going to do a little ground pepper. Because I don't know if I see it. We, we like ground pepper in our family. If you don't like ground pepper, then don't put it in now. I'm also going to add a little heat. Remember I told y'all about these hail flakes? We like a little hail flakes. Just a dab, not a lot. Um, we buy hail flakes online through Amazon, so if that's something um, you are looking to, if you like heat or dash of heat, then get you some from Amazon and some hail flakes. And I added a little salt because I wanted to. I'm gonna see what it's gonna taste like in a second. But it's boiling and it's smelling good between the garlic in here and the garlic that's going on in the oven. We are 
like in heaven around these parts. We're going to bring this to a boil. And as the more this cooks, the more the tomatoes will break down. That's the reason why we got it started early. Doing this while our meatballs in the oven, that's another um, way that you can just continue to cook while you're, um, while, while you're, uh, to do more multitask when you're cooking. Put something in the oven, put one in the oven, and then put, um, do something else on the stove. So we're, we're multitasking our cooking. So, it looks, it smells good. Sometimes you have to just go by how you, what things smell like, right? So, even though, um, even though you want to taste it for sure, sometimes it's about how it looks, and so I sometimes go by the look. I know my Facebook fans can't really see me because my son is trying to play with Instagram. I, and I say fans. I didn't mean to say it. I said I can say family. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it going just like this. Everybody doing okay? I know. I don't know if anybody's actually cooking with me today. But I wanted to make sure I showed you guys um, something simpler, so, something simple, something we all do. We can, you can, instead of doing meatballs, you can take your 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 meat and grind it up and just make spaghetti. You don't have to do spaghetti and meatballs. Sometimes I just want to do something different, and so I didn't want the typical spaghetti sauce. I wanted spaghetti and meatballs. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Spaghetti. And Everybody is okay. How's everybody faring? Everybody ready to run out? Um, now that the governor has opened up Atlanta or opened up Georgia, I'm going to stay a while longer. So y'all don't have to worry about me. Um, we're going to um, keep sitting here and working out. Well. So um, how's everybody else doing? Everybody else is faring okay? Yes, no, maybe. Look how thick our sauce is getting and our tomatoes are breaking down. At this point, you can also add some um, tomato paste um, to get that all day long kind of flavor. I realize that um, sometimes if you add tomato, sauce, tomato paste to things that it also gives it that flavor of cooking all day. So that is an option for you if that's what you would like to do. I'm good. I, I know that the longer this sits, the better it's going taste so but I'm gonna show you this if you choose if you choose to put tomato paste in it and I've been known to do this I buy tomato paste in a tube right here our tomato sauce it's talking it's talking loud too I buy tomato paste in a tube um, and the reason why I buy the tomato paste in the tube is because when I open that little can I don't always go back to it right away and I don't want to waste it. So I've learned that when you buy it in the tube and just squirt a little bit in, you can just put this lid on, top back on, and put it in the refrigerator and store it for a while and it'll last. And so whenever I want tomato paste, I just go to the refrigerator and grab it. Um, this is the cent, I don't know, I don't know, look, C-E-N-T-O, cento, cento, I don't know, but this is tomato sauce. Tomato paste. That's the one I buy. Okay. I'm going to take a look at our meatballs because, again, I told you I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to take a second. So I'm going to take this down and then put my lid on top of it. So we can cover this totally. Let's check our meatballs. Y'all see our meatballs? Now, the meatballs are going to cook for a little while. You'll know when they're done. You don't want to dry them out, but what we're going to do is once these are nice and brown, um, we'll change the temperature to a broil and leave it in there for about two, three minutes so that they get a nice color on them because you want to make sure your meatballs have some kind of color on it. So I'm going to taste our, I'm going to taste our sauce and see what we're working with and if we need to add some more salt, pepper, or whatever. Let's go for it. Y'all see that? Now, what I'm not going to do is burn my mouth. So I'm going to be gentle. Oh my. That's good. 
but I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic to it. The heat from the the heat from the kale flakes beginning to settle in real good. You don't have to add no more garlic powder to yours. I am because that's what I like. And this is Stone Mountain spaghetti sauce and not Italian spaghetti sauce, not from Italy. And I and I want to make sure I'm not offending anybody when I say that. I just don't want people to say that's not how we really do it in Italy. That's not, that's not what my intentions are. My intentions are just simply to make a spaghetti sauce that I like that's good for me and my family. And that's what I've done here. So I added a little bit more garlic powder. And my tomatoes are breaking down and you can see that it's beginning to the sauce is beginning to thicken up it's going to the more it reduces the better the flavor and we're going to and I did reserve a little bit of our um, juice from our tomatoes so you can always add it to this if you also reserve some water from your um, from your pasta you can also add that it'll thicken it up just um, a little bit from the pasta water itself so Give me two more seconds. I'm going to, because I already made some meatballs this morning, <laughs> uh, we're going to be able to go ahead and get this tasted so you guys can see what the finished product actually looks like. And we'll be able to taste our spaghetti and see what we, spaghetti and meatballs and see what we, what we like. So one second, don't go nowhere. Y'all can get out of See how fast that was? These are these are the meatballs that I did earlier today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple, put one here for my son. And this is my bowl because I I like spaghetti. I'm gonna try it. You want to? You want? He's so greedy. He is greedy. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna give him his first. Hold on. So we're gonna. You want the bigger bowl? No, this one. Okay. Not, I won't be greedy. It's not like you you are gonna eat a lot for. Dinner. So then you just pour it on top. Look, y'all. Now listen. Get a, get a man some sauce because he likes sauce on his stuff. And then I'm just gonna take a pinch of the parsley that we chopped earlier. And sprinkle it around just for a little color. And voila, we have our spaghetti and meatballs. Did y'all see the color that we had on these meatballs though? So when you turn it on to broil, it'll um, get a little dark just like that. And now my son will sample his spaghetti and meatballs. Put something in. Oh. You should do this first. I will. Uh. I'm going to give that to him. Can you keep... I'm not going to put you on, though, son. No, I'm not. Like, that's what I'm He's saying. all you nervous. He's first. all nervous thinking I'm going to put him on. No, you should have did yours first. I'm not going to put him on the camera. I don't know why you did this. Finish your video. Because I wanted him to hear your opinion on it. My nose is good. Oh. Facts. Facts. So just a little bit from me. A of me. A little parsley. And because I had some left over, I didn't give him no cheese. We're gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. And we'll taste it. Here we go. First I'm gonna do the sauce in the in the um the sauce first. Sauce with my noodles. I'm not from Italy. Give me a second. Oregano that I put in wasn't too wasn't too strong. The basil that was already in our tomatoes really shines through um, when it comes to the flavor of the sauce. So now I'm gonna go in for another nice little bite with my meatball. Mm. 
that all comes together. You can still taste the Parmesan cheese that we put inside the meatballs, along with the onions and the garlic. It's really, really good. Hopefully you guys will make this for dinner one day this week. If you do, let me see it. Let's see what you did. I'll be happy to help if you need me to and answer any questions. Make sure, please, 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 make sure you post it, tag me in it. And I'm starting a YouTube channel that will also include all of my little recipes. I'm going to do some videos that are not live and add them just so you guys can see some more things on the YouTube channel. So make sure you look for Little Trey's Kitchen on YouTube and subscribe. Hopefully you shared this video while we were doing this. Hopefully you clicked, shared, and put it out to your friends and your family so they can see the video as well. Thank you again for coming into my kitchen. Big hugs and tight squeeze. I love you all. Thank you. Enjoy your day.